Hi guys, my name is Kevin, I work at GoPro, and I'm going to talk to you about the Hero 4 Black Edition camera. Uh, so real quick, I'm going to sync it up to my iPhone app, which is free. I've already have it set up. Um, it works with Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. So I'm already connected, I'm going to jump into my app. Right now, connect to control, so I'm going to just tap on there. Also, real quick, you can see that we have our photo and our video of the day. It also has my GoPro album. Everything that I've ever captured and shared to my phone is already saved and ready to link to it. So go back to connect to control, give it a second or two, and now we can uh, see what my camera sees. There's going to be about a one to two second latency, and that's just due to the technology. But I can control recording, ready to go. And I can preview while I'm recording. So right now I'm doing a time lapse video. So as it takes the photo, it drops the signal, but it'll come back up. And I can hit that to stop recording. The other really cool feature about this is I can jump in and look at everything that I just took. So I just went to Disneyland and I got a bunch of footage from when I was running around. I also did some uh, night lapse stuff where I was doing long exposures. Um, let's see if I can find a cool photo in here. But you can tap in, I can look at the burst of the burst photos I took, so I just tap in there. If I like that photo enough, let's go get a cooler photo. Let's go with this one, nice big happy face. So I tap on the screen, I want to share it, I want to go to my GoPro album to save on my iPhone, and I want to download high res because I want to upload it to Instagram. Only takes a couple seconds. And then boom, I'm ready to go. And I can edit in any software I want. It's a four megabit file that I can play around with and do what I would like. Yeah, so right now I can also go into the wrench and I can see all the resolutions that I have. So resolution right now is set to 1440 for video. I have 4K Super View, 4K, 2.7K Super View, 2.7, all oh, this enormous list of awesome features. Um, right now I also have 720 and a new firmware update that's coming as 240 frames a second. So that's going to be coming out in February. Uh, it is a super high speed mode that's going to be coming out that, you know, we just had a lot of users kind of uh, comment that they'd really love to see that feature. So we decided to add it in there. Um, you can also change your fields of view uh, to customize what you're looking at. So especially for 1080, let's go to 60 frames a second. That's like our power mode. It's really good. So I got narrow. I've got a medium and a wide field of view. I can turn low light off. What that does is that just changes your uh, frames per second down to 30 if you're in a low light situation so you get a little more out of your exposure. Another really important thing we have is Protein 2.0, which is the same you know, from 3 Plus and the Hero 3. Protein 2.0 has, has auto controls and also limit controls for your exposure. So we've got white balance, color, ISO limit, a sharpness, EV compensation. Um, we always shoot in ProTune to capture the best image quality possible. Uh, we also have a GoPro color and a flat color profile if you're really into uh, editing your images and getting the most out of the image quality. We get 60 megabits uncompressed. It's really nice. Uh, and then also you have the same control for stills. There's ProTune settings for stills and night lapse, just the same. Uh, same EV compensations. Uh, and you can change any setting you want. You also have the orientation setups, quick capture, which is a new mode that allows me to just press one button, camera turns on, starts recording, press it again, camera stops recording, turns off. Um, we're also going to have a video of time lapse mode, which I've got going on up there right now, so I'll, I'll scope that out later. I'll download that to my phone and share it on Facebook and Instagram. Uh, yeah, and I also got a battery life indicator. I got 70% of my battery right now with uh, protein on. That's the name. Yeah, so that, that's essentially the app. Um, yeah, pretty handy little feature. And also with the camera, I want to show you real quick. We changed the menu setting setup so that rather the Wi-Fi button previously, where it was just a Wi-Fi button on and off, now it's a contextual menu button. So right now our camera is set to time lapse. I want to go to video, so I'm going to do a carousel run. Now I'm in video. Now I'm going to tap contextual button. And now I am in my contextual menu button set. So I can set up all my modes and change them much faster than previous models. So I can select the mode I want. I'm going to do 30 frames a second. And I want ProTune on. ProTune's on already. Great, that's everything I want. So I jump out and I'm ready to film. And also I've got my three-way here, which sells for $69.99. It's a really nice device. This is actually something that we kind of developed within media. We had some brackets and we put together. And the main point of this is that you don't see the pole or your hand in the shot. So I can shoot myself. I can do a quick shot of everybody. Let's do that real quick. Boop, boop. Time lapse. So I'm filming right now. Hey, I'm getting interviewed. Whee!
and uh, we get a nice wide view and I can open up in the uh, app and share it right away. Um, the another nice thing about this is that it has a tripod based out of the bottom. It just screws out. You can screw it in there. Now if I just collapse this a little bit. Whoop. Standing tripod. And if this is a little too much, what I can do is just take the tripod bit, pop it off and I can mount it directly to the tripod. So nice handy little doodad that I take with me wherever I go. I had this with me in Disneyland the whole time actually, so I was riding rides. They were very, uh, very generous when it comes to using them on the rides. So I was wearing it, holding it, you know, as long as everybody's safe. Everybody has a good time and I get to share the stoke. So that's about it for the Hero 4 Black Edition. Thank you.